ready. Okay, now we're going to install the caliper mounting bracket, which is this guy right here. And they are left and right uh, sides. So what you want to do is that when you're, this is my left side bracket or my driver's side bracket, the thin bar goes on the outside and the thick bar goes on the inside. So I know that if I've got my left side one, then I'm this way, I'm going to be putting it and it's going to slide over the wheel in this direction. And what I need to do is I need to place these pins with their boots on in the lower hole and in the upper hole. And so this is the way it's going to mount over the wheel. And on this side, this is the way it's going to mount on the other wheel as if we were looking for the back of the car going forward. So I would take this, which has a little rubber uh, coil around the end, which slides up and down a little bit. And then this boot. And what you're going to do is take the boot as a wide end and a small end. You're going to slide the wide end over and then you're going to slide it all the way down to the end before you put the grease on it, because we're about to put grease on it. And then you want to see that the boot slides over the end like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take a little bit of engine grease like this and you're going to put it on the sides. And what you want to do here is you want to grease it as little as possible. So you'll see I put just a dab and now I'm spreading it all the way around. And I can't emphasize enough here how you want to just keep this really light. You'll see it's basically just kind of glistening. And you want to be careful up in the rubber part about getting it in there or not getting it in there. Okay. Why is that? Because if you put too much grease on it, it's going to get what's basically like a hydro lock, which means you'll start to shove it in and then it'll get further and tighter and further and tighter. And by the time you realize you can't get it to go anymore and you want to try to pull it out to take some of the grease off, you can't get it out either. So then you'll take that when it's lightly greased and you'll take the hole and you'll basically push it down in. And you'll see I'm pushing it down in. It goes in kind of stubborn because of the grease that's on it. And then that's it. And now it's in there. Fair enough? Excellent. Excellent. And then uh, you want to repeat that so it should turn lightly with the top bolt. And uh, slide the boot with the wide end going on the boot first. Or the boot wide end of the boot going on the uh, guide pin first. And push it down over the end. Squeeze this down. The reason why you push this boot back all the way is so that when you push it down, if the grease was already on it, it kind of wipes all the grease off. You take a little bit of this. Spread it around. Delicate. Take the top. And this one should go in easier. The one with the rubber goes in stiffer. And there we go. We've now greased the guide pins. Was that rag in the picture? Uh -huh. Still filming? Yeah. It's in the video. It's in the video. There you go. Yeah. So I have to add that rag. Not picture. Not picture. Okay, next step. Bolt goes on using the, uh, the four bolts of the yellow Loctite on. And then we're going to take these four bolts of the yellow Loctite and we are going to bolt them on. And uh, um, right. and so we're gonna what? Bolt them to the upright. And we're gonna bolt them to the upright. So what we'll do is we'll go over to the driver's side and the passenger side. Over here. And as you can see right here, basically you wanna slide the hub on till it's make sure that it's engaged over the spindle ring and over the bolts. And then you want to place this down, this guide, side. the other way around, on the side like this, so that it goes like this, again, with the small thin bar on the outside and the thicker bar on the inside. And you want to slide them down, and you'll have to sort of come up over the top and come look. And you can see that there are two holes here, one here and one here, and you want them to line up with the caliper mounting bracket. You take these bolts with the yellow Loctite and you put them down through. 
line gauge. Is there a torque spec on these, Mike? Yeah, uh, it's 148. We have the four documentation for it, so we use that. I believe it's 148 foot-pounds. And uh, so check the torque spec in the build instruction, but you tighten these down to the torque spec, and then uh, mark them, and that'll be the end of the step for mounting the uh, um, uh, brake caliper bracket.